Hey, um, how you all doing? It's Nurse Amy back on your screen. Um, thank you for tuning in today for another Nurse Amy's Tips for Business 101. Um, just to piggyback off where we left off last time um, on home-based business and people are like, what type, what can be home-based business? So many, so many things. Um, what is it that you do? What do you do? what 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 is it that you do what 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 is that thing that it could be a hobby <laughs> painting painting um your um a painter painter not painting walls even if it's painting walls that's a home based business yeah i mean you're receiving you're using your cell phone you're using your laptop which Basically, those are the big things that you need for your home-based business. Um, you need a name, but then it could be Nurse Amy Paints. Nurse Amy's Paints. I don't know. That's a business. That's a name. You know, you're a sole proprietor. Okay? So, you use your home. Okay? Um, what do you do? You make hair? Well, that could be a home-based business. For one thing, for those people who make hair, not everyone goes to rent a book. Um, a booth some people i know a lot of people who do it from home okay you're braiding hair or you cut hair or you um i do my own hair so that could be a home-based business i do my own hair I let people like do you like my hair a lot of people actually do um it's interesting because my students are always like oh my god that's amy i love your look it's so great um i mean i've gone to my dark brown hair but I kind of like the blonde because it's like a type of branding which I will also be talking about branding is good so anyone who sees me like this um, it's a kind of look I'm going for um, so you see the the um, black lady with the blonde hair well what comes to your mind is is nurse Amy right so it's a type of branding um, so that's a home business okay i do hair um and so other people who want hair um can come to me i can go to them one thing i do like i like mobile services if you're able to do it i offer mobile services for my business if you're able to do it go ahead and do it that's good and you just charge a premium fee right um if you don't or you cannot home business the reason why I talk about the mobile thing is you can still go out. You can actually still have a shop and still have a home-based business. So, but the question was, what are some of the examples of home-based business? Do you do nails? There are people, now the nail thing depends. You need to understand, it depends on where you are. Okay. It depends on the state, the county, the, I mean, seriously, sometimes it's like pulling teeth. It depends on the state, the county, the city, the, uh, like, stop it, people, okay? People are trying to make a living here. But you need to know some places zone. So, <coughs> certain things I'm going to tell you to some people, it might seem like, oh, no, I don't think that's really allowed. Are you allowed to do that? I don't know. So you do your due diligence. But my thing is, everything isn't always going to be so right. Okay, so there are people who I know do nail out of their homes. They do nails in the basement. Um, is it allowed? I don't know. I'm not researching that. That's not my job. I'm not the police. I'm not the uh, um, the zoning police person. Why, why am I going to knock anyone's hustle? First of all, don't be knocking people's hustles, okay? They're trying to make a living and put food on their kids' tables. So knock it off. Um, stop it. Stop doing that. There are people who are just haters and it's not enough to speak bad. They just want to go and undermine other people's work. Again, if someone is doing that, they're probably doing that because at that point in time, they're not or they do not have enough to get a booth or be somewhere. So, so they're doing what they have to do. Do not be knocking down anyone's hustle. Why don't you just hustle your thing, okay, and keep it moving? Stop being a hater. I don't like haters. That's just evil. Why are you, why are you hating? Just because you cannot do it or because you're unhappy with yourself. Anyway, moving along. If you're, um, so if it's nails, it's a home-based business. If you do nails, um, some people do 
any kind of service, you know, it can be a home-based business. Um, I know someone, actually a student of mine, who, um, um, what is the word now? People bring to her, it's actually her and her husband, but she started it, then the husband got onto the bandwagon, probably because he sees now that she's making it. Anyway, um, she, um, oh my God, what do you talk? Like chairs, broken down chairs. Not broken down, like to renew. Oh, there's the word, it's not coming to me. If I remember, I'll put it on the screen. But it's like um, making old things new again. <laughs> right right um they repaint chairs you know they refurbish thank you they refurbish chairs you know they will um i don't know scratch off whatever the chairs and refurbish it so you could come in with i don't know some old broken down three-legged two-legged chair they refurbish it and then it becomes a black wood with four legs all ornate it's beautiful and when she showed it to me in class it's interesting because she she told me she did that for she actually picked picked up this um living room chair the dumpster someone was trashing it and she refurbished it i'm like you did this i'm like you can actually you do it she's like oh i enjoy this nurse amy i so enjoy this i'm like turn it into a business turn it into a home she's like oh i don't oh we can afford that we cannot go to shop i'm like why are you getting a shop do it in your garage do it in your basement do you have a garage she's like oh my god we have a garage that's actually where i do so i'm like turn that into a business turn it into a business people and that's what she did and now that's what she's doing i'm gonna have her um she doesn't have a website yet that's fine again i told her word of mouth flyers still work for those of you following my channel i did um a kind of vlog where i went out and i gave out flyers for my business and i did the legwork yes i did me myself and i okay you don't wait on support you don't wait for um you know uh so and so person are gonna come along i'm gonna have um uh giving out flyers party something you just gotta do what you gotta do okay you just keep it moving you have your dream we've talked about that before but anyway i just wanted to let you know do not wait and think oh i don't my kids are not home oh my husband is at work oh my wife she works a double what are you doing your legs are working i don't even care if you're on a wheelchair you're able to still think and move do it do not it's so easy to make excuses and one day turns to two days turns to a week months years and then five years from when the idea first came or you saw the dream you're like oh wow i could have been somewhere by now the difference between doers and dreamers is exactly that you know dream you're just dreaming and then the doers turn their dreams into something and they, they become something and then guess what you who's dreaming you're buying from the door we don't you don't want to be that okay we want you to be self-sufficient and have a way to get an extra income coming in which helps the whole family so that's one um people some people love to sell buy and sell stuff you know that's a home-based business you can you can actually start selling a garage sale you know you can have it's it's when it's not winter it's summer now a lot of people are doing garage sales people do that people start selling their kids stuff or their stuff you can start that like a consignment store you can do it out of your garage, okay? You get on YouTube, you get, maybe not YouTube, not everybody can do YouTube. Get on Facebook, get on Instagram, okay? You don't have to be on video, okay? People using TikTok. So those are things you can actually start with something you have in, in the house. You can start with something that you love to do. You love to make hair, you do nails, you do makeup. Makeup is a home-based business. People come to you and you go to people. It's prom season. People are looking for makeup. People are looking for lashes. A lash artist. Okay. Um, I have been lashing on the side now for, um, for some time. You know, extra income coming through that. You know, a lash artist, you can do it from home. You can go to people's home. Okay, home-based business. Um... There's so many things. And if there are other things, you know, put in the comment down below. Let me see what are the home. 
look your hobbies your hobbies right um how about teaching people to play games it's a hobby you like to play games right <laughs> There are people who get on YouTube and they're gamers. They actually play and people watch them play and they're, they're, oh God, this is crazy. I, it's interesting because I love those. I don't know how many of you know PewDiePie. I like PewDiePie. And there's so many other gamers, you know, that I will watch that. Home-based business. We can go on and on and on and on. Anything that brings you joy that you love, okay? Um, writing. People like to write. Why don't you read your story? Actually, I should be listening to my own advice. I love to write. I should probably have a channel where I just talk about my my stories. You know, um, because I do share my stories with my students and they love it. I have sent some of my work to my students to uh, proofread and just enjoy. I love them to enjoy my stories because I love to write. I'm a writer. I just need to publish my stories, right? Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. My students are like, yes, Miss Amy, we've been telling you this, I know. Um, for those of you who don't even know this, I actually had a podcast, Nurse Amy Online, um, which I was talking about me teaching, but I'm thinking now I'm probably going to do something where I'm going to talk about my stories, which a student of mine was actually just still on me about it, like get your podcast and talk about your, um, read, read your stories. Home-based business. I'm hoping that I'm giving you a lot of value. Um, and if I am, please, um, if you're watching me on YouTube, hit the subscription um, bell, notification bell, give me thumbs up. It helps me to uh, with the algorithm. Um, and keep coming back, okay? Because there's a lot of golden nuggets here, even if I say so myself. And if you're watching on um, Facebook, please um, like follow, share my videos, and on Instagram, of course, please just, you know, share it, share it, share, 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 share. Thank you, and I'll see you on my next video.